Hey guys, I'm Intro 3 here, and today, as you can see, they changed the background, which is kind of cool, because now we don't have to keep looking at little bees. Nothing against the bees, just new stuff, but uh, we are still on the... I went back to the April Fool snapshot, and I'm surprised this is still on there, but I wanted to do a video with it. Um, yeah, I guess this is cool that this background's here, but should be on one of these little worlds. So hopefully this isn't too loud, not too quiet. Let's do infinite, infinite, yeah, all right. So in this video, we are going to look over some special ones, um, special dimensions that are unique to themselves. And basically, in the last one, I just went around looking at random ones, trying to find something interesting, and we did actually come across some of the special ones. Nothing, blue, red, and green, which those three I found off a video, along with these other ones I'm going to be doing. But nothing, we just searched up, and slime. Those two... Oh my, it's lacking. But surprisingly, we got it. So, let's, uh, let's see here. Don't really need the books or anything. But let's do slash warp ant. And as you see, it's going to bring us to this very unique world of whatever this thing is. I want that block. Can we catch it? You know, the surprising thing about this ant is it reminds me of the ants from World Box. Now, I'm not sure if that's exactly what they're supposed to do or not, because, well, maybe that's why they named them the ants in the game of World Box. I'm not sure, but that's basically what it does. I'm going to have a video pulled up here to see what to go to next and otherwise it should just be plain nothing but it does say patience here so yeah I'm not sure what that is but if we go to slash warp basic we get just all of these like X's and zigzags and just this weird maze type thing and it's made out of just concrete most of them this is really cool too because it's just like oh there's some lag there just gotta move around and yeah this is a uh, pretty strange I guess you could say and we've just looped ourselves back the next one though is um oh wait there's a slime interesting just look at that horizon but if we go to slash warp black light, it like reverses all shadows and light. And everything's just dark. I don't even know if you can even see anything. But it's strange because where it should be dark is where it's bright. So. Yeah, except for this guy, of course. But that's... um. Basically a silhouette, I guess you could say. And the fourth one, oh, look at that. Can't even see what I'm typing. Fourth one is brand. And with this, millions and millions of random blocks making what? The creeper face. I think it even makes it with these glasses as well. Yeah. So that is very interesting. Just like... All this goes down to like nothingness. And it's just layers and layers of the creeper face out of everything. So that's pretty interesting. The next one is, if it shows up here, bridges. I definitely did not do that right. I typed in brides. What do you know, another one of those random, random things. 
warp ridges. Now this is going to be cool. Well, so I typed it wrong. There we go. Now it's just bridges upon bridges combined together of just end stone and and bricks, and then just these end rods and like it just goes down to nothingness with these beams here. And this one's like just awesome. Just look at this. It's just being held up. Like this would be awesome for a new actual dimension or something in the end. Just like just bridges connecting different things. Maybe the different end islands. Got the nice curvature here on the bottom. Just goes on and on. We do slash time at night. Time set night. It's going to be forever day, I guess. You can't do it there. Well, I wonder why not. But yeah, that's just pretty cool. Next one is busy. And I'm not exactly sure what this one is. I guess it's like some type of generation with stuff. So let's go slash game mode spectator and go down. All right, there you can see it. Got gold blocks, redstone blocks. So it's basically just blocks. Oh, we got like dispensers and Pistons, strange, hold up, slash, effect at s, I'll get at s, night, vision, there we go, just look at that, there's some hoppers too, that's strange. The next one is checkerboard. And basically with this one, everything is kind of just, I don't know, some lower ones, some higher ones, different types of stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess just some lag here for some reason, but very different. Just a ton of, I think there's like open spaces too. So that's pretty cool. Maybe not. Maybe it's not open. It's just connected. Oh, yeah. It's still pretty cool, though. The next one is uh, this thing. Come on. Sorry for that weight there. Is just chess. And yeah, I'm just gonna make sure I'm recording because I get paranoid sometimes and feel like I'm not. So hold up. We are indeed recording, yes. Everything, legitimately everything is checkered. Oh my. Yeah. So that wouldn't ever get annoying. Definitely not at all could totally do like a survival world in this and uh, burn your eyes. So, you know, the next one would be just colors. Now this one looks interesting. Would you look at that? This one, now this one's cool. It changes the color, you go to game, Actually, I want to check under here first. Obviously, you can tell it changes like this is supposedly yellow over here, green, blue, and red, orange, whatever. Changes like all that stuff except water. But yeah, some things stay the same, of course. And if we go to creative, come on. Let's see. Everything in our inventory stays the same, but mobs, though. Are green here but right here they're not so they automatically change once they walk over watch this Ooh. that's that's pretty crazy the water splits and yeah it's just like 
different colors, I guess. So that's something very interesting. It looks like we have different seasons too. The next one is a skyblock. Warp content. And let's get here. It's got this sky block. And yeah, except in here you get a box of infinite books, a beacon, all this stuff, and just the horizon. So yeah. Pretty interesting. Nothing too good, I guess. The next one is credits, which should be very interesting. Looks like netherite blocks. Yeah, I don't know how big this goes. Oh, got it wrong here. But let's see here. Minecraft team, original creator, Marcus Person. Probably said that wrong, maybe, I don't know. And I just wonder how long this actually goes for. Like just down the line here. Um, okay then, that's my brother. Let's close my door real quick. Anyway, the credits is very different. But the next one is custom. And this one, not exactly sure, it looks like zigzags, and that's very weird illusion right there. Under construction, one times custom world. So, I don't know if this means all of the other worlds that can be custom or not. It seems the next one is darkness. So, I don't really know. I guess we don't have that potion effect anymore. We have blindness. Do we? It's just pure darkness. There's one section of light where the moon is on. And the rest out here is like... You can't see it, no matter what. It's like the Breath of the Wild. Dark. Oh my. Okay, everything's dark. Even this, you can't even see it. In fact, the original... How are you supposed to do this? Well, at least you can look at the sky. The next one, though, is DK... Hopefully we type that right and we did and as you can see Nothing looks too weird here Can't really it's kind of laggy So I can't really tell a difference Um hmm. Oh, there you go you can start to see blocks being placed randomly and that leads us into the next one, which is times 5,000 in DK. And I wonder how much you can actually get, but this, this is just gonna, okay, never mind. It seems that was just the part of the same world, just really decayed and you couldn't find it. So never mind all this, but the next one is fleet. This may look familiar. Because this is literally in every single world that we kept getting into, except it's just the plain old world with just this. So, yeah, it's just all the boats, you know. Basically, all the different ones we went to. Let's try to get to somewhere more interesting, which would be... Just gotta wait for the video. Gallery. And gotta wait for this to load. All right, got random blocks stacked up on top of each other and random formations, most likely X's. But we got this nice little plastic can holder looking floor. I guess this is the farthest out it goes. Oh no, it just keeps loading. Oh, and it does keep going down. Some water blocks there. So that's very interesting. Very, very unique. 
The next one is bulls. And you may have guessed it, but this one has holes in it. Just randomly about. Yeah. And not too much from that one, I guess. Just things flowing. The next one, though, is isolation. And uh, this one is very unique. Got your own little unique villager here. And this little villager house. I don't know if any villager houses look like this, but it says engine reclam attack, whatever that means. Go away. Once you go inside, uh, let's see. He seems to be like a barbaric. His name is Bob. And he has a downstairs and an upstairs. He has three dogs. Their cousin Jim, Bob's other dog, and Bob's dog. And up here, we got this nice little, very nice item here, which is very cool. Home sweet home. Nothing else you can find on Minecraft. And then in the basement, what was that? Just wood. We have three empty chests, I guess. And all these books. And I really like that written by stuff. I want to know if that's even possible to do like by yourself to type that up. The next one is a library. And this is a new structure just like this that they added. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to wait for this to load though. There we go. They are libraries of the books of infinite or boxes of infinite books. Basically, it has this nice formation here, little openings, and yeah, well, let me just throw this into the abyss there. No, didn't work. This one's very interesting because, like, this gets into one of my oh favorites, but. As you can see, it goes into oblivion down there, and it just, just all the different colored books. It has this little centerpiece, looks like this, and we can fall all the way through. It's like a dropper. Come on. There we go. And for some reason, I can't see anything. But if we go to the next one, it is llama. This is another structure out of the game. Um, did I type that right? I don't know. I mean, this is pretty interesting in itself, I guess. But, mm, yeah. Also, I forgot to mention, at the isolation place, there was a hidden chest. Slash warp llama. There we go. And you remember every time that I, uh, I, I thought this was pointless? Just this everything? Turns out, if you just go into spectator mode, there's something actually unique under. And, uh, well, for some reason, this one isn't really showing the llama houses. But one time I did find the nether. It was a different nether, and there was a village in it. Okay, well, I guess this one is pointless. Slash warp llama. Okay, well, I don't know. That sucks. You hate to see it, I guess. Can't really get to it. And there is one message, which I don't know if we have to be at a certain... Oh, there it is. It's all made out of fire here. I forgot I'm in spectator mode. Go down here. It says we apologize. Let's see if we can get this block. Hmm. We apologize for it's gonna say for the inconvenience. So 
Yeah, the next one though is missing. It's very strange. But it's this nice little sky little temple looking thing. I love the glowstone. And got these two iron golems here that are just idle. And if you remember, netherite stairs are called swaggiest stairs ever. Got this nice little formation here of the netherite to the gold to the diamond three beacons and inside of here is the footprint so yeah we're gonna keep all of these um secret easter eggs i guess this is not a sign uh you also can't place these maybe thing but that's pretty interesting the next one though is notes you might guess it once it loads I don't know if you can hear me right now, but it's basically just a ton of notes and they all play by themselves. And it's just an abyss underneath. So yeah, the next one is nothing. Of course, you can't forget this from the last one. Oh, we are falling, of course. But there is apparently not just nothing because if you warp to let me get these coordinates really quick. It's kind of hard to see. Slash teleport. Oh, shoot. Well, that's what happens, I guess. Well, basically, uh, there is just a block and a sign on it. If I can even find it. And it is all right. Well, it's slash TP S five O two six four O nine nine one four eight two four four eight. Boom. If you look at that, ha, uh, I lied. This isn't nothing. Just a block here. Really cool when we got pushed out of that block, though. Um, yeah. And if we go to origin, it's basically, as you can tell, the X, Y, and Z planes. And if we have coordinates on, this is probably 0, 0. But yeah, I've got the Y plane here. Assume the X plane and then the Y plane. Next one is patterns. This one is just a ton of cubes with patterns on them. And goes down forever and ever and ever and ever. And maybe not forever because it ends. But yeah, the next one though is per perfection this is strange just a ton of these random structures and yeah with glass on top they're all connected let's get inside here though as you can see just a ton of stone structures connected to each other it's like a dream world You're just like what's going on where am i i'm not getting anywhere am i definitely have a wild choose case Goose chase in here and just give yourself effect, give that a speed. We'll go. Oh my. All right, well, you keep getting stopped. Oh, there you have it. Oh, we're going to lag out the game here. Just keep going too fast for the game. Dang, come on. There you go. Oh, dang. You just go too fast. All right, well, slash. I'm gonna do this really quick. And then 
I do slash again. It's got to go just because. The next one, though, is okay. Work pillars. I can't type pillars. It's just as you can guess a ton of pillars of random blocks, I assume. Oh, well, I guess it does seem that there is a bottom, but there is a ton of pillars here that go straight to the void. The next one, though, is retro. This one is just a normal world, I guess. More flat, but also realistically generated, which is pretty cool. You got all these, whatever these green things are on top of here, but also just all these boxes. Next one is called rooms. And well, as you can probably guess, there's a ton of rooms. Just gotta peer through. Here we are. Each room has an individual little box space. And some of them even have doors. I think they all do. Yep, yeah, right here. And then you're led into the next one. And there's creepers in this one. And then we'll go into the next one. And it's this one. And like the biomes change and stuff, which is really cool. And now we got this little taiga here, I guess. This one's not even like this one might actually be kind of fun for stuff. And now a little planes connected to that. Of course, if we moved to all these pillars, it would just be a normal Minecraft world. And it's like, this is just a normal Minecraft world. What's so interesting? It does cut off about like one block from the world though, I think. I can't get through. But still interesting. It does it. Maybe. The next one is shapes. And we've seen many of these shapes in other of the random worlds. So it may not be too much of a surprise to you. We got all these diamonds and squares and spheres. The next one, though, to this is pretty interesting. Oh, they even got tiny squares. That is Skygrid. And with Skygrid, you, um, well, there you go. Have literally every block in the game for miles. Does this count as its own separate block? And I guess it counts as its own separate block from having a glass pane with water in it, from a different glass pane with water in it, not this with water in it. And I assume some blocks, or pretty much every block, repeats itself because, you know. But this one I find really cool, just going around looking at all the blocks in different directions. And maybe it is just every block because it cuts out, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't. I want that block. Right. But yeah, that's very interesting. The next one is slime. As you may recall this, we figured this one out on our own last time. Bounced around. So remember, there was the regular world underneath. And... Yeah, just got to keep going for a while, though. It's going to keep bouncing us up, and there we have it. It's the regular world. The next one is Spiral. And as you can guess it, it's just a spiral on, like, a flat world, so nothing too interesting. Just one block deep. Could walk around, and but you're going to be stuck inside the same square, so you can't really get out. Just get to the top, and it just goes on forever. Ever. I wonder how far you can go out until you can officially just walk out your entire square forever. The next one, though, is just unique in itself. 
sponge. This is going to be one of my favorites. From the top here, it looks pretty cool. Just goes down to oblivion. And yeah, just looks like castles, tiny squares in it. In every direction, big squares, small squares. As you can see, got all different squares that all connect. Got the tiny squares, got these bigger squares, got the ginormous squares like we're in, even bigger ones. And what is this? An even bigger square. Jeez. Is that all there is? Does it keep going on? Yeah. That's very cool. The next one, though, is Terminal. And, well, we've kind of seen this block before. This hints to when uh, you're kind of coding. So, yeah, but this cursor block we did get last time. So that's all there is here. The next one, though, is Wall. It's not too interesting. It's just... A wall. You could have who could have guessed, right? But if we fall down on one side, it's all red. All our blocks are the same though. We're not. It's pretty cool. It's even more colorful than the other one. Now the other side it's pure blue. Very trippy. A lot. And, uh, of course, got the same block here, and in the center is where the normal things are. PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox. Yeah, that's very cool. You could use these for some type of battle or something, two different dimensions. The water's the same, of course, but in Blue World, it just kind of matches, just not as dark. Yeah, the water actually does kind of go... I think they did change that, didn't they? Maybe it just gets darker because the blue underneath. The next one, though, is Zones. And this one is cool. It's, uh, well, I think you get a different potion effect every zone you're in. So we're blind here, and we're poisoned. Once we leave the ground, we don't have that anymore. And once we get over here, we have the same thing. Okay, never mind. But that's still pretty cool. Now the next three we already knew about. So we're just going to check these ones out pretty quick. And these are the last three. That being red. Everything, literally everything is red. Everything. And blue. Everything is blue. Everything. And green. Everything is green. So that is everything interesting. There is one world that I found that I thought was pretty unique, and it is destruction. And basically, it's just wherever you go, explosions. Yeah. And with that said, make sure to. Uh, Kind of, you know, got the end here, or the nether. As before, I never went under, but now that I have, I have seen villages, new mobs, new creepers, just shapes and everything. We've just been in the overworld and void all the time in the end, but now we're in the nether, which is really cool. But if you enjoyed this, make sure to check out these worlds for yourself. If you find any cool dimensions, please show them to me. Comment them down. And if there's anything you want to see me do on this channel, comment that down as well. If you want to see me react to, comment that down. Check out Rand Anarchy and Sackbot Productions and the Discord. And with that said, I will check you out next time. You can subscribe if you want to. If you don't, though, that's okay. You just get notified whenever I upload. But you probably don't want to watch all my videos anyway. So I'll see you next time.